Hello my lively lovelies and welcome to Alive with Aaliyah. I'm Aaliyah and uh, today I thought it would be a good day to talk about falling behind because I really feel like I'm falling behind on a lot of things. I recently uh, traveled out of state to see my specialist doctor and that always takes a lot out of me and when I came back I've been having a hard time catching up on things and um, feeling well and you know what it's actually really warm right now so um, part of falling behind I feel like is to also know when to throw in a little self-care and so I'm gonna hop in the pool okay so we're talking about what to do when we fall behind and for me what's important is to grant myself a lot of grace and patience and to mitigate some of my perfectionism, right? Um, to catch up on everything, to do everything just right and be perfect, it's not gonna happen. So me falling behind is things like my house is a mess, there's a lot of stuff I need to do in the garden, and um, you know, not only am I struggling with the, the energy for some of that stuff, um, I'm sort of slacking on self-care, and um, it's warm today, and so I am very sensitive to heat, so it's hard for me to do a lot of that outdoor stuff. Um, so number one important thing to do that, that I always try to remember is to be um, cognizant of what I have achieved and what I have accomplished. And so that's kind of like what, you know, I say in my videos, I'm so thankful that I've made it to today you've made it to today, that we made it, that we're alive, and, and to revel in that gratitude. That's huge for me, and that really helps me a lot, mentally, psychologically. <clears throat> like a gratitude practice, I find to be really beneficial. Um, the other thing to do is actually kind of look at your list of items, of things that you need to be doing, and think in terms of triage, like, you know, rating what you, is most important, and just knocking off the top stuff like for me i had all this gardening i needed to do and all this household stuff but number one was um you know putting away some clothes i need those for later number two was doing the dishes and you know i really didn't have the energy to do dishes but i need those dishes so i filled up the sink with water and threw them in there so that they can just sort of soak and that saves me some some labor and energy And I have all these plants here that I need to take out or transplant and all that. Not gonna happen today. So instead, I just went around and watered uh, the, the little containers of plants so that they'll hopefully be alive um, later <laughs> to, to transport them. And then, when I had all this stuff that I, I need to be doing that you know, didn't have to be done today, um, I decided, hey, you know, I need exercise, I need self-care, so I'm gonna go swimming. And here I am uh, in the pool. I also thought I would do a video while I was at it. So I remembered to put myself on the list. <laughs> put my well-being on the list and what I love about swimming for me is that it's exercise and it's also very therapeutic I really enjoy it I love being in the water I feel like a mermaid so so wonderful and a very nice pool here um, which we, we put in which is just I love it so much love it um, <laughs> and you know as I've discussed about my health conditions I have um, pots form of dysautonomia and uh, what's great about the pools it's like salt water so it actually acts like compression over uh, my whole body that's submerged so I feel a lot of relief from my symptoms temporarily while I'm in here and I get access to exercise still have to take breaks and rest and watch my heartbeat but um, you know be mindful of my body listen to my body and um, that's important for me so 
that's kind of what I'm, I'm getting at with falling behind is, you know, take care of what you can and you don't have to do everything and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just take care of what needs to be done today. Hold off on and, and what you can for when you do have the energy and, and make sure you're on the list. Make sure your self-care is on the list. Get your exercise, get your downtime, whatever it is you need to be doing, make sure you're keeping a mind of that and um, make space for that. Because if you want to be able to do these things in the future, if you want to keep up and stay on top of things, it's not gonna happen if you're not taking care of yourself. So that's really should be number one, okay? <laughs> so all right, let's do some swimming. Oh my goodness, this has been such a great swim, but I thought um, I will say my goodbyes and then maybe get some more laps in. Oh my goodness, though, this is just so wonderful being in the water and every time I need to take a break just floating and staring up at the sky. Oh, it's like bliss. And you know what? It's okay to just like stop and enjoy everything when you know you have a bunch of stuff to do it's okay it's okay and these are the things that I keep reminding myself of and I share them with you mostly to remind myself again <laughs> all right um, so this has been alive with Aaliyah I'm Aaliyah thanks for joining me be sure to click like subscribe and all that and see what we're up to next time and you know, every day live in love with life.